In this episode, we'll be doing hacks for your body. Say you want to go to a party and you want to add a little bit of shimmer to your body for the night. Here is a simple hack. Just mix shimmer eyeshadow and body moisturizer. So I'm just going to take some shimmer eyeshadow, add the moisturizer and just mix it up. Spread it to wherever you would like to be shimmery. Wow, check that out. It's like I've got fairy dust on me. Okay, so as you can see, that works pretty well. And the added benefit for that is that you have nice, soft, moisturized skin. So say when you're finishing up your favorite moisturizer and there's a little bit of product left at the bottom and you can't get it out and you don't want to waste it because you're very gum. What are you going to do? Try this hack. So all you have to do is cut the bottle in half like I've done so here. And you might want to cut the tube as well because that's going to be extra long. And this will act as a lid. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of product left at the bottom. And if the lid doesn't fit, you can do what I did and cut a couple of slits on both sides of the bottle so that it's easier to fit the bottom. So say you're traveling and you want to take off your makeup at night but you've forgotten your makeup remover. So as you know face wash doesn't remove makeup all that well so in a pinch you can actually use conditioner to remove your makeup. So what I have here is some 24 hour eyeliner that's very hard to wash off so I'm just going to so I'm going to draw my line like so. So just apply to a cotton pad as you would a normal makeup remover and wipe it off. There you have it. Really simple. So say you've got a pair of shoes and they're your favorite shoes but they cause you blisters and you damn yow and you die die want to use them. What are you going to do? This, my friends, is a lifesaver product and it's called an anti-friction stick and you can get it at a pharmacy. Now it kind of looks like a deodorant and feels like it too but this one is more waxy balmy kind of deal. So all you have to do is apply the anti-friction stick on the areas that gonna the most blisters like. And in my case, it's around this area and this area. So I'm just going to apply that here and some at the back here, just like so. And I just want to show off my beautiful nails. It's Grumpy Cat. It reminds me of my cat in Melbourne, which I miss so much. No. <laughs> back to applying this anti-friction stick. So now that I've applied the anti-friction stick on my feet, I just have to wear my shoe. There's no friction. Actually, there's really, there's no friction. So now I can go back to wearing my favorite shoes without getting the blisters. Hallelujah! Now not many people know about this kind of product, so I really recommend it. Go try it. So you know how you moisturize your body and you have to wait for it to absorb before putting all your clothes on or sitting down because it gets a little bit sticky? Very irritating, right? Well, here's a simple solution. Moisturize in the shower instead of after. Now you can't use just any moisturizer in the shower. You actually have to use one that is meant for the shower. So what I have with me is Nivea in shower skin conditioner. So to prove that this works, I'm going to be measuring how hydrated my skin actually is right now. And then again, after I've used the product. Now to do so, I'm going to be using this. Now it's not what you think it is. This actually is going to be measuring how hydrated my skin is. Boo! 36. And we have 36 in this range here and that means it's pretty dry. And now it's time for me to jump in the shower and try this product. Oh, and one more thing. A lot of you are asking from a few episodes back if I was really naked in the shower. The answer is, yes I was. Once you're in the shower, all you need to do is apply the Nivea in shower skin conditioner after you finish cleansing your body with soap or shower gel. Then rinse it off. It works just like a hair conditioner, but this is a rinse off body lotion. This is actually the best moment to moisturize because your skin is warm and the pores are open in the shower. <laughs> Also, when your skin is damp, it absorbs hydrating products better because water attracts water. Sounds weird, but think of your skin as a sponge. <laughs> a wet sponge actually absorbs water better than a dry one. The best part is you can use an in-shower skin conditioner on normally neglected areas like your back and your feet to get evenly moisturized skin all over. But please be careful when moisturizing your feet though. Don't slip in the shower. I've just finished my shower and I feel nice and moisturized and refreshed. Now let's see how effective this in-shower skin conditioner is with this. 76 and that puts me in the sufficiently hydrated area as you can see. So there you go, moisturize in the shower. It really works. 
So next time you get a mosquito bite, try using a cream that's actually meant for mouth ulcers to numb the itch. These products contain a numbing agent, so if they're good enough to numb an ulcer, they're good enough to numb an itch. You can also use hand sanitizer, the clinical type, the ones that you get in hospital pharmacies. Unfortunately, fortunately, I don't have any bug bites to try this out on, but if any of you have a bite out there, give this a shot and let me know how it goes. And that's it for this episode, but before I go, I have some very exciting news. It is my very first giveaway for the show. Yay! Nivea is giving away three product hampers worth over $100 each, which all include the In Shower Skin Conditioner. All you gotta do is leave a comment with a registered Click Network account and tell me why you wanna win, and I will choose my favorite three. And that's it for this episode. Hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.